Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I've been getting a lot of feedback concerning the new noise reduction that's found in Lightroom, Denoise. And most of the people that are emailing me are telling me that although Lightroom's Denoise works fine, they still prefer the application that they've been using. And it seems that at least most of the people that are emailing me are using Topaz Labs Photo AI. So I started to ask them, why do you prefer Topaz Labs Photo AI over Lightroom's Denoise? And almost to a person, they're saying that Photo AI removes the noise just as well as Lightroom's Denoise. But Photo AI also sharpens the image and they end up with an image that is a bit sharper. So in today's video, we're going to test that out. I have this image here. You can see it's a Nikon RAW file. It was shot with an ISO of 6400. And if I zoom in, you can see that there is a ton of noise and it's a little bit soft as well. So this is a good image for this test. I'm going to remove the noise in Lightroom. Then I'm going to take the original RAW file and send it over into uh, Photo AI. We'll remove the noise and sharpen it there. And then we'll compare the two. Then what I'm going to do is if, in fact, that Lightroom image, image is a bit softer, I am going to try to sharpen it in Lightroom to see if I can make it equal to or better than the Topaz um, Photo AI image. And we'll do some processing on it too so we end up with a finished image. Now just to double check, I'll hit reset over here and it, you know, I reset the image. So this is an unedited RAW file. And if I hit the I key two times, you can see it's an icon RAW file. So let's, uh, we're in the develop module. We're going to go right to that detail tab. And you can see that sharpening is all the way down. Luminance and color noise reduction is all the way down. We're just going to click on the denoise button. And now this isn't as automatic maybe as Photo AI can be in that we have a single slider here and we really have to try to optimize this by moving that slider so that we're removing the noise but we're not moving that slider too far to the right that we're um, adversely softening the image as well. So we want to make sure that the noise is gone but we want to make sure that the image is still relatively sharp. So you do have to spend some time here. I'm going to zoom out by clicking on this little minus magnifier and then I'm going to zoom in right between the uh, Tamron's eyes. This is a golden lion Tamron. And you can see that it removed the noise. Uh, fine. I'll click with the left mouse button to get a before. And there's an after. And it looks, I mean, it's not adversely soft. And you can see it removed the noise over here perfectly. Now I'm going to see if I could tweak this down a little bit uh, to still remove the noise, but not adversely soften the Tamron. So I'm going to bring this down to 60. It was at 70. And see, I could see a little bit of noise, like I reintroduced the noise. So I was at 70. I brought it down to 60. So we'll split the difference and I'll go somewhere around 65. And that looks decent. Yeah. So I think 65 might be the number. Let's just double check. We'll go up, like over here. Yeah. Um, maybe a little more. I see a tiny bit of noise. I just want to try to make them as equal as possible, meaning the noise reduction I do in Lightroom and the noise reduction that is done in Photo AI. So 68, that looks pretty good. All right. So we're going to go with that and we'll click enhance. So what it's going to do, those of you not familiar with denoise in Lightroom, is it's creating a DNG file. So it doesn't do anything to the original raw file. It's a non-destructive raw editor. So it just creates a new file, a new raw file, a DNG file, and a DNG file will have the noise reduced in it. And you can see that it just did that. And it's right here. It's called enhanced-noise-reduction.dng. I want to rename that so we could keep these straight. Now to rename it, the keyboard shortcut is the F2 key, but that only works when you're in the library module. So I have to jump over to library module, then hit F2. And then I could call this um, Lightroom Noise Reduction. All right, and we'll click OK. OK, so we have this one called Lightroom Noise Reduction. We'll go back to the original uh, Nikon RAW file. We'll go over the Develop module. And just to verify, we'll zoom in. You can see all the noise. And we could do a before after what we have so far. So. Um, let me zoom in. Let me hold the command key in and 
draw like a rectangle over here so we could zoom in like that. So here is the before. Let's go up to, there's so many little things here. Let's go up to view lock zoom position so the image doesn't move around. So you could see the noise and you could see the actual face of the tamarind. And then you could see there's the after. So there's before and there's after. Before, after. So Lightroom did a fine job. Now let's go over to the original RAW file again and let's get this into Photo AI. Now to do that, what you need to do is go up to File, down to Plugin Extras, then over and all the way down to the very bottom, Process with Topaz Photo AI, and just click on that. Now this will open this up into Photo AI, and when we're all done in Photo AI, it will save it as a DNG file as well. So we're comparing apples to apples. Now, with Photo AI, it has something called Autopilot. When you load an image into it, it automatically examines the image and determines what it needs. If it needs noise reduction, it will do uh, automatic noise reduction to it. If it deems that it is soft and it needs to be sharpened, it will also sharpen the image. Um, if there's a person in it, you may need to recover the face of the person. And then if it's a smaller image and you're making it larger, you're increasing the resolution, uh, you may have to use something called Enhance to enhance the resolution. Now, in this case, this is a full resolution file. We don't have to worry about upscaling it at all. But with Autopilot, it has determined that it needed noise removed. I mean, that was obvious. And it needed to be sharpened. And you can see these little dots here. It means that it used automatic settings. So it examined the image and determined which type of noise reduction it used or needed. And it was strong. And then the where the sliders, and you can see the little dots are indicating that the slider um, adjustments are automatic. So we'll leave that. That looks good. I mean, it looks like it removed the noise. Now let's go down to the sharpen part of this. It used standard sharpening and an automatic setting of strength of 59 and clarity of 1. And then it is sharpening the subject only. That's what this uh, toggle switch is. And if you want to see what the subject is, just hover over this little area right here and just make sure that it found the subject, all of the subject, or it's not over-selecting onto something else. And you can see that it did find the subject fine. So really all the auto settings here are great. And that is the feedback I've been getting is that just auto on Topaz um, Photo AI is, is great. It usually does a, a perfect job. Now let's just zoom in a little bit more. We'll go here and we'll go to like uh, 400%. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's go to 200%. There we go. And yeah, it looks good. All right, so I think that looks very good. So we're, we're done. We'll just click Save to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And it will take a minute to save. And then when we get into Lightroom, I'll rename this too so we don't get too confused or I don't get too confused because, I um, you know, I... I I have three sons and I call them each by each other's names. Uh, we have three cats and a dog. I call the kids sometimes the name of the dog and vice versa. I get so confused. It's a terrible thing getting old. Okay. Uh, this is that image right here. It didn't rename it anything fancy. It just has that dot DNG at the end. So I know this is the one from Topaz Labs Photo AI. So again, I need to go to library module. I need to hit the F2 key. And I'm going to call this uh, Topaz Photo AI. Okay, we'll click OK. All right, now we'll jump over to the develop module again. And let's uh, see, this is, let's move the raw file, the original raw file to the beginning. So here's the original raw file. This is Lightroom Noise Reduction. And this is Topaz Labs Photo AI. Now you can see a difference already between the Lightroom one in the Photo AI one. Lightroom, Photo AI. You can see how the Photo AI um, is a little more saturated. Um, just, I don't know if that was a product of the sharpening or why it's a little more saturated, but it is. And uh, there's the original RAW file. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in like right there. And there's Lightroom, or there's the original RAW file, I'm sorry. There is Lightroom. And there's Photo AI. You can see Photo AI is sharper. There's Lightroom. There's Photo AI. All right, let's see if I could try to make the Lightroom image look like the Photo AI image. 
So I'm going to obviously sharpen it. And it looks pretty good. Now, um, let's go up to the basic tab and let's just bring like brightness down. Starting to get there. Bring saturation up. Yeah, so that's about as equal as I could get it just for this video, doing it very quickly. And I've actually made the Lightroom image just a touch sharper uh, to my eyes, looking at my 27-inch iMac screen with my nose 18 inches away from the screen. Probably not coming through in the video, but it's just slightly sharper. But I did have to work a little bit to get it to be slightly sharper. And I could do the same thing to this photo I I one. I could go to the detail tab and I could just tweak up sharpening here as well. So we could just play that game all day. But out of the box, yes, the photo AI image definitely has an equal amount of noise reduction and it's just as good as the denoise AI that's in, or the denoise that's in Lightroom. But it also sharpened the image, uh, which in Lightroom you have to do that manually. So there is an advantage to Photo AI, although for this specific image it wasn't very difficult to uh, sharpen the uh, image in Lightroom to make it as good, if not slightly better, than the Photo AI image. Now let me see if I could um, zoom in just a little bit more. I want to get just a touch of that background in there because the background had a lot of noise. So this is the Topaz Photo AI image, as you can see in the top left there. And here is the Lightroom image. Photo AI image. Lightroom image. Original RAW file. Lightroom image. Photo AI image. Lightroom image. Photo AI image. Lightroom image, it's still, Lightroom's a little bit over sharp. So let's take sharpening down. All right, so Lightroom image, photo AI image, Lightroom image, photo AI image. So, I mean, to me, they're pretty equal. Now, one thing that may bother some people about the photo AI, it did come back more saturated and a little bit darker. Uh, for whatever reason. I'm not sure why, but it did. And that may um, not be something you want, at least not on all your image images. For this image, it didn't seem to worry it. I mean, no bother at all. But that's it. That is my comparison between Lightroom's Denoise and Topaz Lab's Photo AI. Hopefully this helps you uh, make a decision about which you should use and if you do use Lightroom, how you could just easily make it equal to Photo AI by adding some sharpening. And in this case, I also, oops, I also brought down exposure by 0.15 of a stop and I increased saturation. I put it at plus 21 and that seemed to make it fairly equal to the Topaz Photo AI version. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.